Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easily. So this is my third video of HTML in my HTML series and if you guys are interested in finding out how to add an image into a web page in HTML or on how to create your basic Hello World program in HTML, I leave a link to those videos in the description box down below so you can check them out. But for now, in today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to add ordered and unordered lists in HTML. So if you're interested in finding out how to do that, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so before we dive into the lists, I'm just gonna go over some basics. I'm using Notepad again, and the file structure is exactly the same as it was in my two previous videos. So now before we get into the actual code, I'm going to walk you through some basics, like I always do, and then we'll get into the code. Okay guys, so now there are two types of lists in HTML. And these are unordered lists and ordered lists. Now, if you're confused um, between the two or don't know how to differentiate, just look at the U and that stands for unordered and look at the O and it stands for ordered. And that's usually a good way to know the difference. And the one that's mostly or commonly used or even the one that I've come across the most is actually unordered lists. And I will actually show you how they look like when we code and the similarity between these two is that they both have list element tags or the li tags and these both tags always go inside of your ordered or unordered lists now that we've covered the basics let's get to coding this so Okay, so I'm going to put in the title for today's topic, which is lists. And this is inside the body is where uh, my lists are going to go. So guys, let's first get started with the unordered lists. And I will save it, test it in the browser, and then we'll move on to ordered lists. So let's start with our UL tag. Now I'm moving this across so you guys can see it better. And again, as soon as I open my tags, close them. Good practice, guys. Please do that. Inside here, I'm going to put in my list items or my li tags. Again, I'm closing this. Now, you could be making this list for your grocery shopping, so let's pretend we're doing that. I need to add milk, eggs, and bread into this. So in my first list item, I'm going to put in milk. And now I can literally just copy this or you can just right click copy or control and C and then right click paste or control and V and just change what's inside here. And again, the same thing. And I'm going to change this to eggs. So now guys, this is the list that's going to be appearing in bullet points because it's unordered and let's test it out then go to your file like I showed you in my last videos go to save as again I'm going to be saving mine on my desktop you can save it anywhere you like any location any name I'm just going to say lists but remember your extension .html please don't forget that and lists has appeared now to test this out, I'm just going to double click. And as you guys can see, um, the title has appeared as lists because that's what we named it. And you can see all my items. My grocery list has appeared in bullet points with milk, bread and eggs, just like we have it here. So if I put this underneath this, you can see my unordered list with the list items that are appearing in bullet points. Now that we have the unordered list out of the way, let's dive into the ordered lists, which are basically quite similar, but the only difference is um, they're going to be numbered. You can guess from the way it's ordered, it's going to be numbered. So let's again open our tag, OL, close it right away. You can just basically copy the list elements from there but I'll just type them in again just so you guys get into the hang of it and know what you're doing. I'm just going to use the same 
items as I did before, just so you guys can see the comparison. And the last one. Okay, so now you just have to control an S or go into file and save. And again, just double click on your lists to run it in your browser. So there you go guys, my ordered list has appeared in numbers. So that's basically the main difference. If I put this beside each other so you guys can see better. Um, so my unordered lists, it's in bullet points. My order list is in numbers. Now as you can see, as you guys can see, this is pretty plain looking. It's really basic right now. It's not pretty at all. But in the CSS videos that I have planned for you guys, I will actually be showing you how to transform these really basic list items into something really fancy. And really, it's a really big difference that CSS can make. It can just change the whole thing altogether. So please stay tuned for those videos and they'll be coming up pretty soon. But for now, these were the basic unordered and ordered list items. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you found it useful and learned something about ordered and unordered lists. Until we code again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. Also, please leave any questions and recommendations or suggestions that you guys may have and I will get to them as quick as I can and I will see you in my next video.